MongoDB stock is up about 28% since yesterday and in my opinion there is a huge downside to this now. In this video I'm going to talk about why the stock has increased significantly since yesterday. Then I will go over some financials and finally I'll do a valuation to show why this is very highly valued and there is huge downside. Before we move on to the details, I want to clarify that this is not financial advice. I'm not qualified to give financial advice. I'm just recording my thoughts about MongoDB stock. First, let's look at the two reasons why the stock went up significantly. The first reason is they have stated yesterday that we are confident MongoDB's developer data platform is well positioned to benefit from the next wave of AI applications in the years to come. So there is a lot of AI hype now. So since they have talked about AI, the stock has went up. And the second reason is they have increased their revenue guidance for the fiscal year 2024. Previously, a few months ago, they said they could make about 1.48 to 1.51 billion dollars of revenue, which represented 18% year on year growth. But now they're saying they can grow 20%, that's 2% additional growth to make 1.522 billion to about 1.542 billion dollars of revenue. But when compared to their previous growth, this 18 to 20 percent upgrade is not very significant because as you see on the screen, they grew their revenue in the order of 40 percent plus in the past few years. So even this updated guidance of 20 percent growth this year is still a deceleration in their revenue. Nevertheless, because of these two reasons, the stock has gone up by 28 percent. Let's now move on to the financials. This company's market cap is about 26 billion dollars. And the trailing 12 month revenue is about $1.2 billion. That's a price to sales of 20, which is extremely expensive. In the most recent quarter, they did increase their revenue by about 28% year over year to make about $368 million. Their gap gross margin is in the order of 74%. Their net loss was about $0.77 per share. So they're still not profitable yet. And the good news is they still have $1.9 billion of cash, cash equivalents and short term investments. So they are nowhere near bankruptcy. So that is definitely a good news. As I said before, this company has increased their guidance to make about $1.52 to about $1.54 billion of revenue in this year. This represents 20% year on year growth, which is still a deceleration from their previous year's growth of over 40%. Before we move on to the valuation, I want to clarify that I did a video three months ago when MongoDB was trading at about $204 and I've shown the valuation that I'm showing right now. I gave optimistic assumptions and yet I got a price target of $303 in 2027. So that's only 47% gain in five years, which was not attractive. And obviously I said, I'm not going to buy this stock. It did go to $370. So if you had bought the stock at $204, you would have made a lot of money. Now that it is trading at $377, it is very helpful to see the upside as well as the downside of the stock to make a decision whether to sell this stock or keep holding. For that, I'm going to show the valuation that is updated based on the most recent increase in guidance. As you can see on the screen in 2023, I'm assuming that they can get to the upper limit of their guidance, which is $1.54 billion. And since they grew 20% in the most recent year, and this is already a big company that's making close to $1.5 billion of revenue, growing faster than 20% will be a challenge. So I'm assuming 20% year on year growth rate for the next four years continuously for this company with which they can make about 3.2 billion dollars of revenue in 2027 they can grow faster but we have to see the evidence that they can grow faster like what's going to drive their faster growth in the coming years and that is still not clear other than the hype that they are well positioned to take advantage of the ai hype so i'm keeping the 20 percent revenue growth rate with respect to net profit margin in the most recent quarter, their gross margin was about 75%, but I have known them making 78% gross margin in some of the quarters. So I'm giving them the benefit of doubt and assuming that they can get to 78% gross margins in 2027. And typically companies that make close to 78% gross margins can get to 27.5% net profit margins. So with 27.5% net profit margin, this company can make about $900 million of net income in 2027 for a company that's growing at 20% rate and has 27.5 net profit margin 
I can assume a multiple of about 23 or so, but I'm going to give it a premium multiple of 27.5 with which this company would be worth about $24 billion in 2027. Currently, the number of outstanding shares are about 69 million and they offer stock-based compensation and dilute the shareholders. So I'm assuming 3% dilution, which I think is appropriate based on their past dilution history. With that, they will have about 78 million outstanding shares in 2027. They could dilute us more or less, but I think 3% dilution is reasonable. When I divide the $24 billion of market cap with 78 million outstanding shares, I get a stock price of $309 in 2027 with respect to fundamentals. Currently, they're at $377, right? So if I buy now, the return in five years is minus 18%. So that is a huge downside five years out. In conclusion, I see a huge downside with this stock five years out. I do not own this stock, but if I do, I would understand that this is highly valued and there is a huge downside and limited upside. I will sell majority of my portion right now and I will hold the minority position for future if they show signs of accelerated growth. But at the moment, there is no evidence that they can get there. So these are my thoughts. I will make another video when they release their earnings next quarter. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know your thoughts in the comments.